Oh, this rain just won't let up on Khloe Kardashian's head, and y'all, she deserves it, right? Now, she's already going through something with Tristan and Marley. Fans came forward and demanded that she apologize to Jordan Woods. Then, she's been in the moves because everybody remembered... When Kamora Lee gave her the worst advice possible, talking about you gotta let these girls be afraid, and Chris Jenner tried to tell her, Clo Money, just sit there and eat your rice and wait for Tristan to come home. But she ain't wanna believe it. And she went with Kamora Lee Simmons, talking about some neck of you butt, go after these girls, make her afraid of you. Side note, when nobody afraid of her, and all it did was literally, one, stress her out, but two, give all the groupies in the world an opportunity to be like, Chloe in my inbox all the time, harassing me, talking about she gonna beat me up, I don't da 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 Kamora Lee's advice literally gave Chloe the green light to play herself, right? And her mama tried to tell her, just be quiet, because Chris Jenner know what to do with a, with a cheating man, right? She really do. She, listen, Kim listens to Chris Jenner like her name is Kim Jong-un, and you see that Kri- Kri- Kim st- keeps winning. But today, we have a new Khloe Kardashian scandal. We actually have a Kardashian scandal, and I'm going to get into it and why... Y'all, this shit has been obvious for years, but it's actually for a reason that you don't think so. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so a clip from Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I believe it was 2018 or 2019, surfaced, right? It was a conversation Kim, Chris, and Chloe were having. Kim was very upset because she had just left a long-haul flight. It was a transcontinental flight. She was in first class. And this actually happened. I remember when it happened in the news. They tried to cover it up a lot. Um, And I'm getting into the reasons why. But let me just set the scene, right? This woman, this is when North was a baby. This woman stood up, told Kim to shut her in baby up, right? Somehow, it got started getting debated on whether the child was a black child or not. And the woman stood up in first class and said, Her father's black. That's a black baby. You shut that black baby up. And then called it an in-baby. Then she said some stuff to Kim about being an in-lover and blah, 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 blah. This happened on a long-haul transatlantic fight. It actually did happen. I remember they tried to cover it up. Now, why does Chloe insert herself into this and do the wrong thing like she always does? Simple. Chloe sat there in the kitchen and tried to give Kim words of advice. I got the audio for you guys to listen. Let's go to the audio and then meet me all the other way back so we can talk about this. It was this lady stood up in the cabin in first class and yells at the top of her lungs that she's with a black guy and that baby is black. I would say to shut that black baby up. My baby is black. Hashtag, I only like black. That's what I would say. All I get called is a lover all day long. Who the cares? And then she- Okay. Now, I know. I know, y'all, but hold on. There's more. Let's not forget when Kylie actually got in trouble on Instagram, or I think it was Snapchat, for this lovely gift that she gave Jordan. Y'all ready for this? Okay, right? Now, we're not getting into whether um, Jordan should have known or what was she doing being friends with those people. And da, 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 da. For whatever reason, she got woken up and that's not there anymore. But let's talk about the Khloe Kardashian thing. Let's talk about it on some multiple levels because it actually deserves a deep dive. Listen, it has never been a secret that I say that that whole family, right, de- literally deals in um, erotic colonialism not to be mistaken with um erotic currency what am i talking about you guys this is the issue when people say about the cultural appropriation and the Fulani braids and this and that and some dum-dums are just like oh my god nobody owns braids first of all they're our culture yes we do let's start owning our culture but secondly it was indicative of a larger problem that we see with the family for one right 
I know they love their children a lot. I assume they do. Every mother loves their children. However, there's always been questions about the fact that people that are not directly affected by racism will let a certain amount of racism exist in their sphere because it doesn't really bother them because it's not offending them. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody, if somebody's like a little bit too mean to the dog and they might say something or they might not, but they're not dogs, so they don't really care. It doesn't hit them as hard. What I'm trying to say with this is, right? The fact that Kim was more mad that people stood, the French lady on that flight stood up and made a public spectacle and said that you like black men Instead of the fact that this woman is racist as an offended, that she looks like at your child, like it is less than an animal. The same way somebody might yell, shut your dog up on a long haul flight. You get there and you disrespect because in her mind, Kim has done the unthinkable. She has married a person who is not white. And because of that, she does not deserve to be treated with respect. Now, let's not forget that Kim is always also the same one. That Jeffree Star, who says racist stuff all the time, right? And the N-word all the time. Because he did her makeup right, she got up on Al Gore's internet and literally told all the black women to Jeffrey apologize and say that he's a problem. And what are you doing even associating with them, Kim? Because you got black children. And when he don't know that those black children live in Calabasas and have money, he will disrespect them too if he saw them on the street. Kim got on Al Gore's internet and said, you guys, he made a mistake and he apologized. You guys need to just get over it and literally talked down to all her black fans and said that she accepted Jeffrey's apology and she needs to get and we need to get over it this is the type of woman that is raising half black children and when that happened of course Kim got in right of course Kim got in her feelings and it was such a magnificent backlash that she had to apologize. But usually she does not apologize. Nobody in the family apologizes. Why is that? Because Kim, Chloe, and that whole family is what people talk about with racial sensitivity. I know they have black children. I know they have no problem being with black men. However, it's always been called in question do they actually have the tools to deal with raising black children? Do they have the tools and do they even have the care to actually deep dive? See, it's different before your children were black and there were people saying that's racist, that's offensive, that's this. What they're doing is taking their projections as white women and then telling people who are of color that should be educating them how they are wrong and how it's not racist or this and that. The sad thing about this is as their children get older, they are going to be accompanied with more and more of this. As cute as Kim's kids are and as cute as all the Kardashian's kids are, when they are walking in in a town where nobody knows who their mommy or daddy is, when they are in long-term flight, long-term uh, transatlantic flights and nobody knows that you are famous or beloved or that you have some social indicators of power that you cannot be treated like everybody else that is when they are going to run in to the racism and prejudice that a lot of people that are half black or half people of color actually actually experience right the only question is as you know when you experience racism especially as a young child it's very very confusing it can have your head spinning that is when you need your parents to firmly ex understand what's going on to firmly explain it to let you know you are not imagining this to let you know that people cannot gaslight you to let you know what's going on how your power is being taken away how you are being messed up in your mind the way that you are strong confident and protected right now chloe kim and chris are saying that they don't know because they don't even know how a deeply offensive is and deeply shameful to be saying these terms on tv when you have 
children that are the thing that you are casually throwing around. I'm an in lover. Yes, I love Black Sea. To them, that is the extent, right, of racism. To them, as long as they don't see color, there's nothing else. But that's not going to be what's there for the children. We can drag Chloe, Chris, and Kim all you want. But like we see with Kim dating Pete Davidson, they will move in and out of other people's cultures when they feel like it. And they will always close rank and align with their culture. But the people we should really be worried about are all those kids. The people we should really be worried about are their children and the fact of do they have the tools, want to have the tools, and do they want to have the work. And for the slow people in the back that are still supporting this family after all this, until they deeply educate themselves and deeply come to terms with what is going on, no, you're the ops. I said it, I said it, I said it. Are you still supporting this family? And they're, I don't see color take on hot take on everything that is covering up even their casual issues you are the ops now let's get into one thing yeah they got so last thing i'll say this is about listen um erotic current yes they have children that are half black yes they dress up in all of our fashions and all of our hairstyles and even surgically altered their bodies and face to look like us however you need to know when it comes to erotic colonization, right? It literally is in the same way. It literally is in the same way that people colonize land and take the best of it and then throw everything else away. It's the same way that they are colonizing black womanhood, the aesthetic, the body type, everything except the culture because they are extracting what they see valuable in the culture and throwing everything else away what is the one thing they're throwing away that does you see more of they're throwing the actual black people away they're throwing the respect and the love for the culture away because for them they don't care they're extracting what they see as valuable they're wearing when they are done they will throw that away again chloe always been a hot mess she's her hot takes have always been garbage again we can say tristan is her karma but when you think about it the way that she puts up with tristan's infidelity always gave me i don't know vibes as if you feel like this is what black guys do this is what dating a black guy is it's like when kim kardashian gl glowed glowed in happiness that kanye called her the perfect b because again in their minds that's what black people do and that's what black culture do again you guys let me know what you think in the comments i'm not surprised at this fall i remember when it happened i remember when there was outrage i remember everybody telling black women to shut up and they're and what is the new thing you hate it you're jealous you're this how am i gonna be jealous of somebody that you stole my whole culture down to the aesthetic what i got to be jealous of but anyway you guys let me know what you think in the comments and let me let me know let me know if you think that an apology is enough or if that show should be canceled. But the real question is, let me know why so many people that should have been ringing the alarm bells about this for years have been letting them slide. Again, pray for those babies. Pray for those babies. I'll talk to you later.